Good morning on Friday the 29th of July and it's the end of the first week of the school holidays. Our only prayer for today. Lord, you give us life, you give us love, you give us yourself. Help us to give our lives, our love and ourselves to you and to others. Through Christ who died and rose again for us. Amen. And our readings today are from Psalm 62 verses 4 to 10. And Jeremiah chapter 26, verses 1 to 9. In the prayer points, I regularly suggest that we pray about integrity in public life and for truth. With modern media and spin, it's all too easy to get hoodwinked by false news. And it's also ever so easy to get swept along by someone who sounds so plausible and who has an official title which gives credibility to what they are saying. And before we know it, we are diverted away from God's truth and what is actually going on. And this is the very problem which Jeremiah is facing. Although he's not the one who's got diverted away from God. Jeremiah is effectively the guardian of God's truth. He knows what God's message is and he's promised to remain a faithful prophet. But he finds himself as a minority of one and the message from God is certainly not a popular one. All around him there are other people who are in far more prestigious roles, who are saying the exact opposite. And what they are saying suits their own purposes and is far more acceptable to those who choose to listen. Theirs is the popularist message. But they have actually also listened to Jeremiah, because if they hadn't, there wouldn't be such a backlash against him. They wouldn't have had any idea of what he'd said in the first place. But as it is, Jeremiah is literally being crowded out and threatened. These days, when this sort of thing happens, a police cordon usually forms to keep the person safe and to get them into a safer place. But there wasn't this type of provision for Jeremiah. Yet Jeremiah keeps on faithfully speaking out the message. God says that the people haven't listened. Superficially, they have heard. But the truth is, they haven't listened to the extent of taking any notice of the message our next prayer now is for those in a position of leadership. Gracious Lord, we continue to pray for everyone who is in a position of leadership of any kind. The situations they find themselves in are always complex and the decisions which need to be made certainly not straightforward. And it's with that in mind we ask that you pour down your wisdom on all leaders, and we pray that they follow the guidance you give. Amen. And for our prayer points, picking up on that last prayer, we pray that all of us also follow God's guidance. Pray that people with health issues are able to get the appropriate treatment. And pray for everyone who is struggling to make ends meet. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.
I've heard from the St. Luke's team that they arrived safely at Focus and are having a good time. And our blessing for today, to Jesus the King Eternal, Immortal, Invisible, the only God be honour and glory and power forever and ever. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you and your loved ones today and forevermore.